Hello to all my lively ladies. You're very welcome to today's 20 minute walking workout. And these are easy exercises to help us to keep fit. Okay, let's get going now with our warm up. Just step touching here, bringing in the arms side to side. More limbs we bring in now, the quicker we'll bring up that heart rate. Good. Okay, I hope you're feeling good today. And thank you so much for joining me. It's lovely to have you here working out with me. Okay, now what we're doing today, we're going to do 30, 30 for each exercise. We each exercise one minute and 30, we'll break it up into 30 for both exercises. So walking for 30 seconds and squat and knee raises for 30 seconds and so on and so on till we get to 20 minutes, okay? So you're ready now to step your way to fitness here with this one today. You know the walking workouts are all about the steps. Now you can add light dumbbells if you want to, that's perfectly fine. Just make sure you're not going too heavy because we will be kind of moving swiftly from one exercise into the other. You could also add them just to the walking portion of the, the workout. There's lots of uh, um, different ideas and that you could actually do yourself. You don't have to lift weights the whole workout. You can just add it to the walks or add it to the second exercise after the walk or the whole thing if you want to. Let's draw the knee across the body now. Stretch out these glutes here. Good. And across. Just moving off the spot if you can. If you have that space, we'll use it up. Good. Across and across. You feel a lovely pull there on your backside muscle there, your glutes. Good work. And across we go. Oh, getting all these stiff joints moving. Feels nice. Good and across. Let's add in some arms. Push your trays up to the ceiling. Push up. Good. Just imagine you have two trays stuck to your palms and you're driving them right up to the ceiling there. Working those shoulders. Good. Getting that upper half involved in your warm-up too. 10 seconds. Come on, you can do it. Push up. Good. We'll take it into some heel digs then. Four seconds, three, two, and last one. Let's press our heels into the floor gently. Just a little tap there, tap it out, tap, tap. Good, now some shoulder front raises, push back the arms, sweep them back behind you. So we are working the front of the shoulder here and a little bit into the triceps and stretching out the shoulder and a little bit into the upper chest as well. Good. Dig. Dig your heel in. This is a nice fun move. I like this one. Good work. You can wake your, make your way across the room as well. That's it. Good. So coming off the spot really does help get those ankles nice and warm. Go forward and back. Last 10 seconds. Keep going. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Now hold your legs about hip distance with a punch, punch, and down, and down. Punch, punch, down, down, good. Punch, punch, tap out that toe. Punch, punch, come on, punch down. Nice and strong. Make the move come from those back muscles. Good work, punch, punch, down. And down. Let's do four. Good. Down and down. Three. Good. Down. Down. Last two. Get all those four punches in. That equals one rep. Last one. Down and down. Now hold those legs out wide. Now take them in narrow. Bend your knees slightly. Drop your hips down a little bit. Good. Out wide in narrow. Out wide in now. Good work. And out wide. Just bending those knees ever so slightly. Come on, that's it. Keep the chest up for me. Out and in. Just getting those inner thighs nice and warm for us. Good work. Out and in. Out and in. Let's do four. And three. Last two, and last one. March it out. Crisscross the arms. Push back. Open out. 
the chest for me there. Keep your back nice and straight now. Push back. Good. Should be feeling nice and warm now. There may be a little bit of sweat flowing. If not, don't you worry. We'll get the sweat to flow before we finish out today. I can guarantee you that. Push back. Let's do four. And three. And two. And one. Now open those legs and we'll stretch across. It's just oh stretch out that torso. Good. Make it nice and long. If it's a morning workout, sometimes you can feel very sort of crunched up, been in bed all night, or even if it's not a warm morning workout and you've maybe been sitting a lot today. Again, nice just to stretch it, make the body long. Good, think about long. Well done, and length. Let's do four and three, two and one. Okay, let's warm up those ankles before we start, particularly warming, sorry, walking workouts. Nice to get those ankles involved too, calves as well. Now I'm going to show you what's coming up during the walks. So just keep an eye on me. And uh, they're all very basic moves anyway, moves you're familiar with. Okay, just mixing it up for you, keeping it nice and interesting. Okay, you're ready to get started. Now we're going straight away, so if you're using weights, just make sure you have them handy because the minute I hit the time is we're off, okay? Enjoy yourselves. All right, let's get going. Now, there's our start beep. Okay, let's walk away. Now remember, when you're walking, there's so many different things you can do. You can jog, you can skip, you can take it up into a, a, a run on the spot, even if you feel like you, you can do that. Now the next move after this, you keep going, squat, knee, squat, knee. All right, that's coming up after the walk. So even a light little jog here is lovely to get going, get the heart rate up. Okay, squat, knee, and you're feeling very energized. You can add those little ballistic bounces, okay? If you feel like your body is able for that. Now, if it's not, you just stay with nice, gentle, little low impact moves. Now, even when I say bouncing, you're not really leaving the floor. It's just you're getting that elasticity of the muscles to work hard for you. Good, and up. Squat and knee. Well done, those 30 seconds just fly by. Okay, let's walk it again, or you can do a little jog if you feel that way. X steps is next. So we're just stepping out and making our body into an X. Okay, stepping and Xing. Okay, let's get our walks in here, or skips, if you want to do a little, like a little jump rope or skipping, that's fine. You can pretend you have a rope in your hand. Keep it nice and light. Good. Well done. Now let's go into our X steps. X, X. Now if any time throughout this workout you're feeling a little bit tired, because I know going from one exercise to the other like that without any rest, and I haven't included a water break today either, it can be quite tiring, particularly if you're new here. You know, if you say you're a beginner or you haven't exercised in a long time, just march for about a minute. Okay, take a minute, do a whole minute of just walking and then come back when you're ready, okay? Or a minute and a half, whatever way it works. All right, let's skip again. So for instance here, you could walk as we're meant to be walking. Walk again instead of doing the low jump jack, which is coming next for two, step back for two. Okay, that's next, low jumping jack, step for two. You could walk that and then do the next walk as well. And that'll give you a good rest and then you can come back in, okay? So just again, giving you ideas if you uh, are a beginner here. Okay, one, two, step, step. One, two, step back, step back. Good, one, two, back and back. That's it, step out to the side. I'm leaning very slightly to the front, but not too much. So again, engaging your tummy muscles, stop you from falling forward. One. Two, let's finish it out here. And step, and step, okay. You can do lateral walks here as well. So giving you different ideas so you don't have to be doing the same thing. That's it. You can stay in the middle and do fast walks as well. The next move now, keep going with it, whatever you're choosing there is a diagonal walk. Clap, heel, good, clap and heel. 
all right keep going any second now let's get going for diagonal or a big v on the floor clap heel good clap and heel and again and you can take up the pace here if you want to make your way back some nice backward walking there good just make sure that your workout space is clear you're not going to fall over anything good and forward again and make your way back okay well done four minutes in all right let's do a nice big march up the hill pump those arms make your way up to the top good work drive those knees forward now we've got two step watch this one we've two steps forward and back and then the other leg now if you want you can actually take it into more of a lunge okay you can bend the knee as much as you can or just step it forward and step it back okay and the other leg forward and back all right i'm going to take it into a little bit of a lunge keep your chest upright you just do a little step forward into a small lunge if you want to or you can take it down into a bigger lunge and remember walking lunging is just exaggerated walking find that balance <laughs> good and over and over and over can you imagine if we had to lunge for our walks <laughs> okay um, walk it out again take it up into a little bit more of a skip now that we're getting through the minutes here that's it now next one little seat clap your hands under this will test your back mobility okay that's coming next well done all right little seat clap under the middle little seat clap under the middle good and clap well done and clap sit yourself down keep that back upright for me and clap under lots of clapping exercises coming up today and uh, sit down this is very bouncy you'll get the heart rate up last one there you go well done good work walk again brisk walk come on fast walking toe to toe pump those arms double step touches next or making your way across the room so over and over and then we can just get our arms going whatever you like put your arms there it punches out the front works well let's go back to fast walking make my way over just about to get going now okay one and two and make your way back good punch it out now if the arms are confusing you leave them out because i really want you to keep the legs going good come on drive those arms forward have lots of fun with it good i love the walking workouts getting lots of steps going first thing in the day good i always like to try and have about maybe three at least three thousand steps done before um midday let's walk again okay good work now we have knee raise forward so we're going to walk the knee raise forward and then you're going to do a little jog back or just walk it back okay whatever you like you can step it back as well yeah, sorry if you don't want to do any impact today okay right let's finish out this walk or skip just there now give yourself room one two three see if you can get three or four out and then fast stepping backwards or just march it backwards good you can march it backwards that's it good one two three four and all the way back just watch where you're going there as you go backwards good and all the way back well done and one two three four and make our way back walk it out again good you're doing great let's keep going eight minutes in now we have our lovely lovely combination keep walking there v step and knee and knee v and knee and knee okay that's coming next i love this one it's a lovely lovely combination exercise okay 
keep going we're just there a few seconds to go get ready leading on the right right left two feet together knee knee right left two feet together knee knee and again punch the sky and work your tummy there one two and knee knee great standing abdominal exercise one two good punch punch back back one two just there one two three four one and two well done let's walk it out again good work okay now we're going to shuffle across the room with two knee drives or you can just step across the room okay knee knee or if you want to take up the pace a little bit shuffle across the room all right keep going with these walks or skips or even jogs i know some of you are jogging your way through these walking workouts that is wonderful that's your consistency has got you to that level that's wonderful so you can shuffle or step one two feeling a little bit energized today so i'll take advantage of that and shuffle away good across we go one two and across we go one two good keep going with that into our last few seconds here and one and two and across we go and one and two good work well done let's walk it again okay now here is our reverse heel tap so we normally go to the front but this time we're going to the back and we're alternating okay so what does it look like yes very much a hamstring curl so we're getting the hamstrings next good breathe for me take in the air breathe it out okay and kick and kick don't worry if you keep missing your heel if you get one or two in that's fine good kick and kick come on that's it reverse it good reach up nice and high good we get a nice shoulder exercise here as well as the hamstrings punch away punch last few seconds come on you can do it well done excellent work that is great okay fast walk come on brisk walk for me good keep going with that next one alternating two knee across the body switch it around okay nice directional change coming now for move 12 working the tummy make sure you're engaging your abs you really get the most out of these tummy exercises last few seconds good all right one two sweep those arms down for two come on you can do it one two one two good work one two sweep sweep good work come on you can do this stay with me slow it down if you need to if you're feeling a little bit fatigued now as we get halfway through the workout or into the second portion of it slow it down come on you want to finish that's it good work don't worry about scaling back your workout i do it a lot if i want to finish it just step it back take a step back that's okay good work keep going now we've got a heel dig here too he continues heel dig two bicep curl okay two lateral raise all right okay that's your next move come on you can do it we're we building up a good sweat i can feel it across the brow here all right get the heel dig first now curl curl lateral raise for two one two one two that's it come on you can do it have fun with it tuck the elbows in there to your little waist pockets one two one two good lift lift curl it curl it we're nearly there come on you can do this we're back to walking good like i say if you need further rest just continue to walk okay leave out the following move continue to walk and the following move is fast jogs for 10 step across fast jogs for 10 and just repeating it okay now you can step it as well if you don't want to be doing fast jogs you can step it that's perfect good so a nice lateral move coming next 
nearly there, last few seconds. Drive those arms, come on. Good work, okay. Fast feet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it across, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and over. Get that heart rate up, come on. Eight, nine, ten, over we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it, don't worry if we get out of sync, just do what you can. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's walk it again. You did wonderful there. Good. Now keep going. Sidestep and punch is next. Sidestep and punch. All right. Keep your body moving. I used to, when I followed along to workouts on YouTube, I used to always get out of sync with the instructor. And I used to wonder, how come I can never keep up? But you have to understand, they know exactly what's coming up. Their brain is really, really in tune. Plus, they probably practiced it before they come on camera. I know I have. Let's sidestep it. So they're far, far more in tune than you are. So don't worry if you get out of sync. It's not that you're particularly slower or you're not as good as the instructor. It's just they've, they've, they've tuned into the exercise. They've practiced it over and over again. And uh, like I say, they know what's coming up. Like knowing what's coming up is so, so much easier for you to perform a workout. Good, rather than guessing all the time. Let's walk again. Okay, or jog it. Let's do, I want to do like a nice walk up the hill here. I haven't done many of these today. Now, a touchdown is next and then reach to both corners of the room. Think about reaching for the corner of the room, okay? Keep going. Good, and reach, and reach. Come on, climb up that big hill for me. Just there now, well done. Let's go into our touchdowns and reach. Touchdown and reach, and reach across. Try and get your bum down there, good. If you can, do your best, tailbone down, touch down. Oh, this is such a leg strengthener, really is. Good, down and reach, down and across. Come on, you can do this. Punch the corners of the room. Just there now, well done. I love that exercise, it really gets the butterflies fluttering away in your tummy. Okay, now, walking again, watch the next one, you keep walking. Step, touch, chest press. Nice one if you have a light pair of weights. The next one, okay. Let's skip it out. Jump rope with me if you can, come on. Keep that head held up to the ceiling. Just there, remember the intervals are short, so good opportunity if you want to uh, challenge your body a little bit more. Step, touch, chest, good. Push away, push away. Good work. Now I want you to pretend you're pushing something heavy in front of you. Big heavy door. That's it. Make every rep count. Push away. Good. That's it. Come on. Really feel the chest working there. Last few seconds. Come on. Keep going because the intervals are short. Good work. I'm going to do that big incline walk again. And up. And up. Just imagine you've got these big steps in front of you, good, we're going to get to the top, lift, use those arms, good work, let me show you what's coming next, you keep going, double knee raise, clap underneath, okay, again another one that will test your mobility and if it does just tap out your knee, right here we go, okay, one, two, one, two, one, Two, all right, tapping out the knee, if you find reaching underneath your knee is too challenging. It's hard, you've got to keep that back pretty much upright. It's okay to let your ribs come down towards your legs a little bit, and that's great. Tummy work, standing abs again. Good. And one, two, one, two, good. One, and two, well done. Oh, this is great work, I really, feeling alive with it today. All right, now next one, keep going there. We are going to, little seat, kick the leg out. Little seat, kick the leg out. Don't worry, you don't have to kick really high. Okay, going up my steep incline again. I missed a few there, the last one. 
lift and lift you choose what you want to do here good lift up lift and one more okay little seat and kick little seat and kick I always get very energized as I go through a workout and it just goes to show you that you really have to earn your energy good it doesn't come for free you got to get up get your body to open up those little glycogen stores in your liver and turn it into glucose and give you some energy to move your body that's it good kick well done okay oh my goodness we're on the last minute here good i really enjoyed this workout today it's made me feel really really good we've had a very very busy week here getting jobs done in the house and it's just lovely to be able to exercise and get back to normal now we have our double low jack low jumping jack coming for the last part of this minute okay let's keep going with a walk come on you can do it pump those arms okay one two one two good and if you liked today's workout don't forget to hit that thumbs up button right underneath the video here that just lets youtube know that you're liking the content the content creator is doing a good job there and they will push it out to more ladies like yourself so really really trying so hard to get up to those 100 likes now on each video come on we can do it thank you so much for your support and there you go and there's my big clap for you for completing today's wonderful walking workout i really really enjoyed that now today i really did it's lovely to get back to exercise like i say the house has been so busy this week having a time to do any workouts at all and it just feels lovely to get back into it I really did miss it so don't forget to cool down now i leave my cool down i link up my cool downs for you they're in the playlist a cool down playlist directly under the video here in the, the the description box okay so they're there for your convenience i have a brand new one it's only 10 minutes it starts off with um, mobility moves for about five minutes and then the other half is static stretching and 10 minutes it's really well worth spending that amount of time on your your uh, mobility and your flexibility drink your water very humid here so i'm looking forward to a glass of water and also make sure you are replacing your electrolytes because when we sweat we lose a lot of electrolytes through our sweat and it can cause charley horses or cramping particularly in the calves i know i wake up sometimes myself at night time with a charley horse in the calf or a cramp so make sure you're getting those electrolytes in and getting in your greens and everything to get your magnesium in magnesium is so important to help your muscles to relax thank you so much for joining me today you did a wonderful job and i will see you in the next workout see you soon